respond rather than react. Animals and inanimate objects react. There's a knock on the door, the dog barks, the cat meows, the nearby bird flies away, or someone's elbow nudges a vase off a shelf. Gravity pulls it to the floor. Those are reactions. Reacting to comments or a situation implies a knee-jerk, uncontrolled response without thought to the implications or the results. Reactions are closely related to immaturity and emotional instability. Babies cry when they're hungry, regardless if they're in a worship service, a wedding ceremony, or a rainstorm. But responding to someone's comments or a specific situation, on the other hand, means a deliberate, thoughtful response that leads to the results that you want. The key difference is taking a brief moment to collect your thoughts and determine the best wording to accomplish your purpose and preserve the relationship. When someone says something critical or insulting to you or you're tempted to hit that reply button and email a sarcastic retort, brace yourself and bridle your tongue. That old count to 10 idea works to turn negative reactions into appropriate responses. I'm Diana Boer, encouraging you to communicate with confidence.